when you talk of Malawi as an economy, it's, uh, it's an agro-based economy. And uh, even though it's agro-based, we still have very few value chains that have been viable. And for the most part, uh, tobacco is the one that has been the major forex earner. Um, but what we're seeing is that over time, uh, demand for tobacco globally is declining. We've been observing an average of 5% reduction uh, in the tobacco demand uh, from Malawi. And uh, that also comes with fluctuating prices, which makes uh, planning really for the farmers a bit difficult because they are not sure of how much they'll be getting out of a kilogram of tobacco that they have produced. The agricultural diversification programs have really led to a lot of positive impacts. Uh, what we've observed uh, among smallholder tobacco farmers is an increase in uh, allocation of land towards alternative value chains. Uh, we've seen more than 7,000 hectares of land that farmers have allocated to either uh, soybean, uh, groundnut, sunflower, and cassava. Those were the four main uh, value chains where we saw people transitioning from tobacco. But then in terms of productivity, uh, which is something that we've really been working on, uh, we've seen farmers that are, we've been working with increase their level of productivity by around 36%. So these are farmers that are we're producing way below their potential, um, but now having experienced an increase by 36%. And uh, it doesn't end there. Um, what they've also experienced is an increase in their revenue. And uh, from the assessment that was undertaken, they've experienced an increase by 165% in the revenue that they are getting from their agricultural, uh, the alternative livelihoods that they have now transitioned to. Uh, we are talking of more than 40,000 farmers that have now adopted new technologies or new innovations that we've been uh, demonstrating to them through our activities under the Center for Agricultural Transformation.